Okay, hello again. Um, I wanted to get, I'm actually preparing to move, like, uh, I'm moving within a week, so, um, you know, there, there you go. Um, I'm getting punished for not filming these videos last year and starting this YouTube channel last year like I intended to. So now I'm just in one big crunch because I have a bunch of empty containers that I was saving to do these videos. And since I'm moving, I need to get them done because I can't carry this crap with me. So I think I wanted to structure this video a different way like all the products I've used throughout my life, but uh, I'm just gonna show all the empties that I have. I'm, I threw some mascaras in there because I'm also a mascara junkie. My channel is actually Toya's Kinky Chronicles, but I'm also a conditioner junkie because uh, I've always been in this um, on this quest for the perfect conditioner. But uh, in another video, I'll explain a little bit more on uh, the whole conditioner issue and my hair loss issue because I I figured it out, but I don't want to say it yet. So this video is just to talk about the products that I've used up completely. Some of them have already been repurchased. Some of them I intend to, some of them I don't want to repurchase, some of them I'm on the fence. So I'm just going to go through each one and I don't think it's going to be in any order or category. I apologize. Future videos will be much better organized. Alright, so I'm going to get started with the first product. And that's the Shea Moisture Anti-Breakage Mask for Thin Fine Hair. This is a really good mask. Now, first of all, I don't use any Shea Moisture Mask for actual deep treatment purposes because when I first started taking care of my hair, I was using the Gold Label Mask, uh, Raw Shea Butter and Argan Oil. And it did well because my hair, I've gone through all of my life without truly pampering my hair. So it was like, yes, mm, I'm loving this, give it to me. But then my hair got used to it and it was no longer effective as a deep treatment mask. Now I'm talking about the gold label one, the raw shea butter one, which is for dry or damaged hair. And excuse all the dust because I'm doing all this crazy spring cleaning and clearing up. You probably can't see it, but you're going to see me reacting to it. Um, so this mask, I use it kind of more as a leave-in styler and it definitely is very moisturizing. Well, not so much moisturizing, but it's more um, strengthening. I actually feel the difference. I feel the strengthening agent. So this is something that I need to repurchase. It's on the repurchase list. If you have thin, fine, breakable hair or breaking hair, whatever, this is a great product. So of course, I've used it up and empty. Another Shea Moisture product is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, which um, the first time, I'm, I'm kind of reporting on the first time I use most of these products because uh, my hair kind of, um, it, 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 after a while it didn't have the same effect anymore, but in a different video I'm going to discuss that issue. But the first time I used it, it was very moisturizing. My hair smelled great. It was shiny, but there was no hole. There's not enough holes for the 4C kinky hair, so it's probably more of a type 3 hair product. But because of the moisture, if you just want soft hair and you want to do pinups, um, like what I'm doing here, or trying to pull off, then this is a great product. Coiled by Nature Ultra Moisturizing Cocoa Aloe Deep Conditioner. The Cocoa Aloe Deep Conditioner, I don't really like it as a deep conditioner, but it worked well as a pre-poo. It's very, what's the word, it has detangling properties, and it, it's good for like an overnight, you know, pre-poo overnight deep treat pre-poo. So I would definitely repurchase this product and recommend it for really dry hair that's probably highly porous and maybe damaged and it's fine. You just need, you know, that extra moisture and strength. And you know, the coconut um, adds uh, and builds up your hair because your hair shaft actually um, absorbs the coconut oil. Now, Oyin Honey Hemp, this is detangling and moisturizing hair conditioner. This is one of those leave-ins that I said goes well with the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. It is um, very moisturizing and it does well as at detangling and I would repurchase this. I think I've gone through two bottles of this already. I don't know if I have any other Oyin products here. 
um, this is the Entwine Indulgently Luxe Exotic Buttercream Hydrator. It uh, It's supposed to soften, moisturize, and shine, keep, get your hair shiny or whatever. Not very moisturizing for me, but like I said, for everything that I said didn't work or only worked once or is not very moisturizing, I'm going to have another video back. I don't remember what I was saying about this product, but I did say that it was pretty moisturizing, but um, okay for my hair and maybe it kind of moisturized it for probably just a day or two, but for some people that's good enough, so that's the Entwine, I'm just going to call it the Entwine Moisturizer. Alright, next product, as I am leaving conditioner, this really feels good on my hair, but uh, it didn't last too long either, but it was pretty good. Um, coconut amla sugar beet root, green tea, lemon, apple, sugar cane, phytosterols, and saw palmetto. I mean, these are good products, and especially the coconut. My hair loves coconut extracts, oils, whatever. So, I probably would repurchase it if I... I would add it to my list to be repurchased when I'm able to bring my hair back to a normal state. Because I think my hair has been so damaged, which is why the conditioners haven't been working. And like I said, I'm going to film a different video to discuss that. So, I would, I would give that a try. I would give that another try. Now, the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash, I've been through two of these. It is amazing. It's moisturizing. It's detangling. And it cleans your hair pretty good, I mean, for a co-wash, you know. So I would definitely continue to repurchase this product. I think it's, it, it, it won many awards, and I'm not the only person who is in love with this co-wash. But let me just say that this was, a, this was a cause of the problem. I need to please make a note here that this was a cause of the problem why I experienced so much uh, hair issues over the past few months. I was co-washing too much and not clarifying enough. So see, I gave away some of it. And this was a culprit because it was such an awesome co-wash. So do not be in love with it so much that you forget to clarify your hair, guys. Okay, I don't think I have any more As I Am. I think those are the only two As I Am products I tried. So these are the two As I Am products that I've tried. And these are the two Caused by Nature products that I've tried. So as you see, I'm a serious product junkie, or maybe you don't, e you don't even see it. I don't even know if I should talk about the curls, whipped cream, I mean, I don't think it do did too much for my hair. I only bought some curl samples. I think I tried a conditioner, which was good. Forget the name of it, and then there was a shampoo that was just okay. So I want to really repurchase any other curls products. I got some samples at a hair expo. I think it was the cashmere curls and the curl jelly, but I still wasn't feeling like it was doing anything for me. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to try any more curls products, guys. I really don't know. Now, this is going to be an unusual one. It's a product from Australia. It's called Sukin. That's the brand. And this is their protein conditioner, which is sulfate and... It's sulfate and paraben-free, and this is the one for fine and limp hair. I saw it in TJ Maxx. It's not sold anywhere else in the U.S. It's an Australian product, and TJ Maxx will sell it if they have extras shipped to the country. So it's not something you want to get hooked on because you may not be able to get it unless you want to ship it from Australia, which I'm sure is expensive. Original price is $12. I guess the equivalent of $12 U.S., and I got it for $6.99. I think it was a very great product. My hair loved it, but I wanted to get the moisture conditioner because um, I didn't want to have you know, be using protein too often and it was a hydrolyzed wheat protein and rice protein but it has aloe, sesame, cocoa butter, kiwi, nettle, burdock, horsetail, avocado, jojoba, rose hip, vitamin E, grapefruit and tangerine, mandarin and lavender and vanilla and those citrus oils are pretty good for hair and skin let me tell you that so I think it was a good product, but I really want the moisture conditioner. So hey, if you see it in TJ Maxx, let me know please. Send me a message. Alright, this is Spiral Solutions Deeply Decadent Moisturizing Treatment. I think I went through, yes, I went through two of these. It's very thick. It's almost like the Shea Moisture Mask, which uh, I can use it for a deep conditioner maybe for a month or two and then it's not going to have an effect anymore. It could probably work as a style, but I don't know if it's going to give you enough hold. 
so I think it, it ended up kind of being a heavy moisturizer for me after a while. So I like it, but uh, if you want something with more hold, then it's not going to work out. And I'm thinking that I'm going to have to probably experiment with different styling agents to see if it will mix well with it. So I'm not sure. It's a good product, but there's so many moisturizing products, but not enough styling products. So it's just another great moisturizing product. Oh, here's another Shea Moisture product. Um, and these are not the only ones I have, but these are the ones that are empty. You know, when I move and I get settled, I'm going to talk about the products that I'm still currently using and give a better review of everything. This is the Coconut High Biscuit Curl and Style Milk. I think this also goes well with Kinky Curly as a leave-in. Yeah. Um, I think it was okay, but for my kind of hair, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie gives more moisture because it's thicker and heavier. You know, there's just more butters or more shea butter in this. And when you have really kinky, dry, highly porous hair, you want to use a heavier product rather than a light conditioner. But if you're going to use a gel, well, the Kinky Curly Gel, you're going to want to use this. But I guess the other smoothie, the smoothie can probably go with a different type of gel. But I think when people mix it with, mix this product with the Eco Styler Gel, I think it needs some flakes. So you really have.